Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we're going to have a look at the Northern Force. The Night Gons are moving forward and our scout unit has detected a light force retreating from the front. So we're going to chase it down and destroy it. Alright, here we go. So this is the uh, Clan Light Lance or Clan Scout Force that we're using now. Um, I'm just going to take you through the mechs as we get into battle here. But um, this is our Commander Blaze. She's got a... Um, an adder, uh, SRM adder. Um, we've got a variety of, uh, well, two sets of ammo. We've got acid and um, standard uh, Artemis rounds. Um, this thing's actually not that bad. So we're going to move forward. Um, yeah, so they've gone to ground behind this hill. I mean, we could go, well, let's just go this way. We'll go straight at them. This battlefield is kind of limiting. Alright, so, um, we, second mech, we've got a Kit Fox with an ER large laser, LBX-5. It's only got cluster ammo and an ER medium laser. Move you forward. Position confirmed. Next mech, next mech, next mech is a Gen 2C uh, SRM boat with uh, some bolt-on rockets and a tag. So we're going to move you up. Uh, let's get up to here. Position confirmed. And we've got a Miss Lynx, which is our energy boat, pair of ER, sorry, pair of medium laser magnets, pair of mediums, and medium pulses, some bolt-on incendiaries. Move order it's also got an active probe and everything on it, I believe. Uh, and then we have our uh, Kit Fox E. It's our uh, vehicle breaker with the tandem rocket. So if we encounter like a um, a nasty vehicle, we can break it real quickly, really quickly. Um, and then it just rounds out with medium lasers and a streak too. And then we've got, for vehicles, we've got a, a Zoria uh, LBX-5 and an LRM-10. We're going to move up as fast as we can, I think. And then we've got a Svantovit, which is actually a, not a bad uh, vehicle. It's super fast with a pair of LRM-5s, pair of SRM-4 streaks, and some machine guns. Basically our scout vehicle. So we're going to get up a little closer here. Now this is a one and a half skull battle against uh, the Free Worlds League, so I don't know if we're going to get one or two units here. So we had enemy contact, but I don't see them anywhere. It's just reserve here. All right, who's up? Waiting for orders. Um, you're probably not going to get a direct line of sight on anybody, but let's get up here. Roger that. Got any sight? No. Brace there. So this battle, I mean, it should be pretty quick at one and a half skulls, but we'll see. A little bit of AMS flare happening. Beautiful. What do we got here? Line holder. Okay. Nice. Ready for orders. Um, we're not going to get a direct line of sight in the line holder, but let's get up. Actually, let's go the. Mm, yeah, up a little higher. We'll get some fire support from above if we can. All right, you're done. I think we can get the Svanto bit down pretty close, hopefully to detect a little few more of these guys. This guy will go down with, with direct fire. This isn't the best map for this unit because, I mean, a lot of the weapons in this, in this unit are close range weapons. We do better on maps where it's like where brawling is, uh, is, a, is a must. So I want to apologize for taking so long to get this episode out. Work has been absolutely insane. One of our um, major clients, we have a big project due, in a, a, um, it's actually due in two weeks now, but it was supposed to be for the end of August, but they pushed it, oh, that hurts. They pushed it up two, uh, two weeks. So we're just in a brutal scramble right now, trying to get Damn things it. down on time. If we, weren't, if we weren't already stressed enough, we're like the whole, uh, crew is like just um, going crazy because of the deadline. Plus, we have other jobs to do at the same time, right? So, Ooh, an Apollo. So we got a good lance here. No idea what this guy is. Hopefully, we'll find out. Target confirmed. I don't know if those were hit hits or not. Negative damage. No, nope, apparently not. Yeah. But yeah, and on top of that, um, two days ago I put my back out again. Two days ago? No. Wednesday night. Yeah, so my back's been up for four, almost four days now. I'm recording this Sunday afternoon. It's flat on my back yesterday. 
Okay. Full it's been ahead. brutal. Like it's been trying to sit at my desk and work on a computer for eight hours and your back is out is just like not fun at all. Commander? Okay, do we have the ability? We don't have the ability to get in, so let's get in the trees here. Affirmative. So I wonder what this guy is. Find out in a second, though. We're gonna drive this fan a bit right up its nose. And a Whitworth. Okay, so we kind of got a medium lance here. Nice. They got the range on us, so we're gonna have to close quickly. Uh, I was gonna drive you down here, but since we know where those guys are, let's get up on this guy. See what we're dealing with here. Oh, it's a lamb. Okay. Shadowhawk lamb. So he must have had a. Um... All right. Well, he. Yeah. Let's leave those at three. All right. Well, that didn't work. Um, yeah. So he must have had a. Um... Um, what do you call it? A hard point pod, like a um, missile rack or something, an ATGM or something like that that he used on us. I'm receiving you. All right, Bubbly. Michel Bubbly. Um, LRM-10. We want to get a direct line of sight on somebody. Let's move down here. Acknowledged. Now, both the Zoria and the Spantabit don't have a lot of armor, but it's enough for light engagements. Wow, it's terrible. I'm gonna fire anyway. We got lots of ammo. Oh, that's the lamb shooting. All right, this is going to be bad news. Okay, who's up? Receiving you. All right, you're going to have to do a lot of damage to this lamb. Um, I think we want to go here. Ah, I'm very wary with the mislinks because it's so lightly armored. I want to get a side shot on him, but I don't want to expose to too many enemies. Let's go here, I guess. Affirmative. See how many hits we can get on this guy. Hopefully we can get a few. Roger. Alright, that's not bad. It's a start. What's up, Commander? You need to get real close. Alright, Jenner's got a bit more Double armor, back. so we'll Let's get him go. a little closer. Hopefully we can land a tag here. Uh, we want to go with the rockets this early? We might get a torso shot on them. We could open that torso up. 22% though. Plus the AMS. Let's go EMP on them. Actually, yeah, we got one on him. All right. Waiting for orders. You just need to walk, and that's probably the best spot. Get our stability back, and nobody else can really see you. It's our chance to hit here. Pretty darn good. Ah, uh, let's go for it. Engaging target. All right, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Who's up here? A oh, line holder. Alright. Waiting for orders. Okay, it's faced that way. Aye. Now if I use I believe if I use the um Artemis ammo, they have a better chance of being intercepted. So if we switch to, uh, well, the, uh, the chances just drop significantly, eh? Ah, uh, screw it. Let's go this route. See what we can get on this. Well, hopefully his AMS will run out of ammo soon. Got all 16. Yeah. Man, that's just, that's awful. They just, they counter, like, everything. 
Okay, we've got a little arm damage, a little torso damage. Hopefully that'll run out of ammo. I think it fires 20 rounds per burst, doesn't it? Something like that. So he's fired, what, four times now? So 80 rounds? Got a couple more turns of firing, maybe? So the Whitworth I'm not worried about. Relatively low armor and a couple of LRMs. The Apollo I'm not sure about. And the line holder I'm not sure about yet. So this guy's trying to figure out what to do. So apparently lowering the, the ambient sound for these guys, you have to lower the ambience for the entire battle. He's gonna melee. He's charging and he's flying. Go fuck yourself. Through my armor. I'm under heavy fire. Melee is so what broken. Is it? It's just so broken. We got a back shot in that guy. He's basically offered himself to us, so we'll take it. Now the question is. I'm gonna go for component damage on this guy. We're gonna we're gonna go in super heat mode here, but the unguided rockets here have a less chance to get hit, shot down by the AMS. We're gonna go all in on this guy. I have the advantage. Nice. Got past his armor. Short range missiles are out. It's just so broken. Okay, swarm. Not our friends at the moment. Not our friends at the moment. Waiting for orders. All right, fuck this guy. How are we doing here? We might get him this turn. We've got the two vehicles left, so we'll just take the shots at this guy. Oh, he did have an arrow one shot, okay. Can you get behind him? You can with the LRM. That's a side shot, I think, though. Yeah. How are you doing? What's your... I can't tell. Of course I can't tell. Let's see if we can just engage the... Uh... Let's go here. All right. Start engaging these guys. Hopefully we can get them to switch targets. Meh. Whatever. Good to go. Moving to position. Gotta expose for one turn here. We gotta kill this lamb. It's gotta go away. Uh yeah, hopefully we get it here. Uh, we hit our vehicle. I apologize for that. That was a bad side shot too. You can see what I mean though, like like it's got just enough armor to survive like one good encounter and then it's gotta drive away. But I mean at least with the pair of LRM fives it could still do some long range attacks. So the lamb goes next, Let's see what he does. He pretty much committed suicide in that. Of course. What? Was that another charge attack at that range? Armor breach, internal damage. I'm receiving you.
Like, honestly. Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. I don't know if we will or not, but... Fire it. Yep. Fuck you. That's a kill. At least the sound dies with the uh, lambs. With the cockers, it doesn't. Apparently it's Damn supposed it, to go away. Um... But it doesn't always. And apparently some people have, like, had, like, Moving installed out. and then, like... You know, updated the, the game files and then it's gone away. But I haven't had that happen yet. The copter sound still lingers. And it is ridiculously loud. It's too bad it's tied to the ambient sound. Alright, we gotta get down here now. We're not gonna, uh... Be able to do our best work from up here, I don't think. So let's... Sure. We'll get over to here. Let's see if we can get a tag on this guy. One of the two, that is. We'll leave these off for now and drop it. Target acquired. Ooh, we got him. Nice. Enjoy that barrage, buddy. Aye, aye. All right. Let's take the turn to cool off. We're going to move no down shoot. here. Just running. Got it. Nice. Yeah, that was- I don't understand. Like, that looked like a lot of damage, that second attack from point-blank range. Maybe that- f maybe it was like a death from above or something? I don't know, like... It's like one hex away, though? I don't know why it would be considered so much damage from one hex away. Alright, let's move like that. Acknowledged. I'm just glad we survived it. We just gotta make sure they don't get behind us. On the Apollo again. Nothing. That's alright. We got lots of ammo. We got lots of ammo. Okay, who are you shooting at? Alright. Okay, the Apollo. Just keep those other two guys in the radius, buddy. Perfect. At least he's only swarming one guy. Systems holding. Could be bad if it was swarming the uh, kit box yes, up Commander. there. Can we get... What's our armor again in this guy? 110 in the front and 51 on the sides. So it's not bad. 29.55 on the Apollo. Let's get up to here. Order acknowledged. Take a shot in this Apollo. Copy that, Commander. Alright. A little bit of damage is better than no damage. Waiting for order. Alright, Blaze. Gotta get you to strike distance. Gotta get that acid ammo going next turn. Let's just switch this up for now. Don't forget. Good to go. Alright. Um, let's position for an attack next turn. Get down to here. All on air. Before go shooting right now, I want to gangbang some but one of these guys. Probably the Apollo first. Receiving you. Go here. Moving fast. Standing by. I thought about for a second there letting them close to our range. Um, but that's a bad I, sh I shouldn't have put you here. I want to get generate as much uh, evasion as I possibly can. Get here. I may regret Orders. 
using those tandems so early, but uh, we'll see. It's yet to be determined. All right. Keep on this guy. A couple points, not bad. Okay, lasers and an LRM. Damage minimal. I'd have thought he'd have like. He's running hot too. I would have thought he would have had like a uh, auto cannon or something. Ooh, the Zoria. Okay. Bonus for me. I'm here. Um, I'm gonna reserve you. Let that Whitworth go. See what he does. Hopefully he shoots on you. Perfect. Okay. Now we can back up. We'll take the damage just that to avoid high. the uh, them using um, yes uh, the lerms on our other mechs. Save some damage. We'll back you off now. Wow. Okay. Barrage coming. Okay, that should add some heat to the line holder too. Yeah. Apollo's unsteady. So let's try and capitalize Standing on high. that as best as we can here. Um, yeah, I don't think that's the best move. Let's go here. Acknowledged. Now I, I think acid, the damage been, has been changed slightly so that it does less, um, there's less uh, uh, increased damage incoming and more damage from the actual missile. But we'll hit this guy anyway. Hopefully we get a little extra damage from everybody else. Close. Move order received. All right. Uh, let's negate those LRMs. I'm going to hang on to those rockets. Um. Yeah, the EMP is not going to do too much. I mean, it'll negate his targeting a little bit. How close are we to? We're a good distance away from taking this guy down. So let's go with the EMP first. Fire those off. I got him. Mess with his targeting a bit. And uh, increase his heat. Yes, Commander. Uh, I'm trying to avoid... Uh, don't want to be in there. Yep, let's go there. Confirm. Trying to avoid getting in the direct line of sight of the line holder. Make him come to us, put the streak back on, and, um, yeah. Confirmed. Alright, ooh, the streak missed, eh? Alright. Orders. Streak missed. Let's put you right here. On my way. Offer you up as a bit of a target, see if that happens. Uh, on this guy again. I'm gonna, dr now leave the, we'll save the incendiaries for the line holder, I think. Fire the rest, though. Roger. Nice. Scored a critical hit. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get beside these guys. It's going to give the line holder a chance to shoot this Miss Lynx, but Miss Lynx is only 25 tons, which is why I don't want it being shot at, but we've got the opportunity to kill this guy, so. Do I go? It's only 10 rockets. Let's do it. Blocking in all weapons. Ah, crits. Nope. I'm out of short range missiles. Not bailing out either, eh? Alright. You're nice and toasty. Gonna keep yourself toasty, I see. Losing armor. Yeah, I know. We're all losing armor. Alright. Let's just hope the let's okay. I was gonna say let's hope the Apollo doesn't shoot you. Commander. 
But it's not the Apollo's turn yet. Okay, we'll get to here. Expose our side as opposed to the front, so they hopefully can't hit the, the uh, damage side, and we'll go with everything on this guy. Scored a critical hit. Well, we don't have enough for the knockdown. Damn, we're just short too. Ooh, some micro micro pulse lasers. I'm taking heavy hit for small there. small pulses. Or no, orders. yeah, small pulses. That's pretty darn good. Take that shot. And we don't have slug, do we? We do have slug. Fifty-five though. Let's go with cluster. Roger that. Target confirmed. Beautiful. And he's done. Nice. Who's up? Receiving you. Are we on a new turn? We are. Alright, Cruz. Um I think we need to shut this line holder up now. Alright. Um We're gonna move to here. Move order received. Not a lot of evasion, but much better chance to hit. I am gonna go with the rockets though, because he is hot. Hopefully we can keep him that way and push him over the limit a bit. It's only two. I'm out of short range missiles. If we can stop Take him from out shooting out. this turn, that would be the best way best thing to do. I'm here. Okay, let's get up to here. Move order received. Um Let's go all in. Go with acid. All weapons are good. Mech warriors. Nice. Show them what you got. Ready for orders. Hmm. Not the best place to be, but we'll walk it up there. Get our stability back, and then open up on this guy. Let's bring it home, people. I think I hit something good. Ready for order. I minimize my damage too here. Let's get into here. On it. Hopefully this Whitworth doesn't have swarm ammo. Firing. Affirmative. Who's up? Yes, command. Hello, vid. Hmm. Guess no matter which. I guess if I go, let's go there. I would rather have the uh, be standing on instability with the minimal amount of enemies left than to uh, just go with standard. Than to. Um, Walk through the flames at this point. Not enough, eh? Inflicted some heavy damage. Yeah, they're gonna go for the adder now. It's the only kill they can probably secure at this point. Commander? We're not gonna give it to him. Copy that. Alright, Zorio, firing on this guy. Hopefully we can finish him up. It's nice that we were all able to get side hits on this guy. Sure. Ooh, he's still going, but that should be the knockdown, though. Critical? Nope. That's uh, even better than a knockdown. Flames on the way, huh? Okay, let's get up here. Looking out. And we'll expose our... Wait, are we exposing the right side? We are. Okay. Expose our uh, non-damaged side to this guy and fire. Change. All right, let's do this. We're gonna reserve blaze. Um, he's going on 15. We got what 23, 23, 16. So all of my mechs go before him. So let's take the opportunity and try and blow through the side here. I'll take the heat. 
this turn in hopes that we can take him down in one shot here. Or one turn, that is. Okay, good damage. Yes, Commander. Not necessarily the best move for this mech, but we're going to do this. I'm going to commit to kick, taking him down in one turn. Alright, Acid does more damage. Only slightly better chance to hit for the uh, Artemis, but we'll go with the more damage. Open up some wounds here. Or kill him. That works too. Mech there you go. Destroyed. And there it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, so that's not too, too bad. We'll have to do a bit of repairs before they can move forward. This mech took a bit of damage. That's mostly armor, though. I don't think we took any component damage, though. We got really, really lucky with the double charge from behind. And that's... I don't, I don't think that was a death from above, because death from above usually does a massive amount of damage to one small area. This hit the... like, as it usually hits the upper uh, body, right? But I got leg damage and everything from him. So it looked like a charge when he was flying. And he charged me twice and did significant damage both times, so I have no idea what the hell that was all about. But whatever, I mean, we didn't lose any components, which is a good thing. The rest of these guys, I think, are just fine. So it's just minor damage. We should be able to repair that and move forward, no problem. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, since we're going to be continuing to move... So it's an advanced AMS? What's this? Yeah, he must have ran out of ammo early. He can fire 25 shots as a machine gun. Overload is 50 AMS range. 8 heat per activation in AMS mode. Man, that might be a good... Um, I could build a mech around that. AR-12. Well, I'm not going to say no to that for now. 275 core, double heat sink kit. We do have one in stock. Lamb turbine. Not really interested in running a lamb with these guys. You had caseless ammo. 10% jam chance. So he must have jammed. He had 400 shots. So he must have jammed that turn. So this is swarm improved or incendiary? Three area effect damage to units in radius. So, minus 70% critical hit chance. Ah, uh, so it's not really that good against... Okay, because I would have thought Swarm would be far better to use against targets that are like, have opened up components, but I guess it's minus 70% crit hit chance. It really isn't that good against... I mean, why use it then? I mean, I guess you're doing damage, small damage over a wide variety of area on those areas where you have a hard to hit chance. So at least you're doing something. Even if you can't hit the enemy, you're just scattering damage everywhere. So I guess it's okay, but I would have a tendency to use it when an enemy is opened, right? So for instance, using it against my adder with the open back... You'd want to go with that to try and get crits on the uh, engine and stuff, but I guess with the lower crit chance, it's like it really doesn't do anything. And augmented thunder. Um, so, 50% mine trigger chance, 4 mine damage. That's actually pretty good. Although I'm trying to stay away from minefields with this particular unit. So, um, I mean, we could take the double heat sink or double heat sink. We've got two of these guys. 275 core. Can't really use it on anything. Small pulse magnet. These are one ton, though, right? Yeah. Uh, LRM long fire. Blaze fire LRM. So it weighs less. Same heat as an. A, uh, ER large laser and a little more damage because it doesn't an ER large inner sphere version 
is 5 tons, 45 damage, 36 heat, correct? Oh, it's got a jam chance, though. Alright, so it's a trade-off. A little more damage and less weight for jam chance. Okay, that makes sense. ER medium, magna, is this the same? There, no, it just says more damage. 20% damage and a heat. So 18 heat. But I guess if you're just running one or two lasers, it's not that bad. Hmm. Oh man, should have got off the pot here. Let's take this. Can you, here's a question, I don't know if, if you guys know, maybe put it in the comment section down below. So if I get a lamb turbine, let's say, because I haven't tried this yet, I haven't got enough components to be able to try it either, and I'm too lazy to look it up online. But if somebody knows, maybe mention it in the comment section down below. So if I get a lamb turbine and all the components to make a lamb, can I turn any mech into a lamb? Like to, if I get lamb, I think there's like lamb armor and all that stuff too, right? So if I get all that stuff and install it on a mech, I, got, you, I don't think you can do it on an atlas, but like maybe like a like a, a shadow hawk or even like an archer lamb would be kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know. We'll go. We'll go with this. All right, we got the Shadowhawk Lamb part, Whitworth and Apollo part, LRM-10. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. The long fire we'll get rid of. Yeah, we'll keep that. Basic cockpit can go. Fire control system standards can go, and that can go. All right, so not bad. All right, we've got a bit of work to do here. That's okay. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, yeah, it's only like a couple days or a day, well, two days for the kit fox, which isn't too bad. Oh, yeah, the adder. Sorry, that was one took the most damage, so five days. So it's a bit of work to get done. Um, I still haven't worked out, like, on the map board, you know, repair times and stuff. Because if you, I mean, technically, this unit would pull back and get repaired, or it might continue forward with the with the damaged units. Right now, we're not in the, that position where we need to do that. Uh, but later on, if we are in battles where we're facing multiple units, I'm not going to be able to re repair between battles. Um, I might rest the pilots between battles, but I won't repair the mechs, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so um, this playthrough here, uh, I call it Van it's Vanguard playthrough. It's got both my uh, um, Inner Sphere and Clan uh, Scout Lances in here. So we got A Lance and B Lance. A Lance is the Inner Sphere Lance, B Lance is the, uh, um, the Clan Lance. And then, you know, BV1, BV2 is, you know... Um, Lance B, Vehicle Pilot 1, Vehicle Pilot 2, and stuff, right? So, um, it was kind of, it was weird because I wasn't sure how I was going to do these, the, the Scout Lances, whether I needed to do different playthroughs or not, but it's nice having the two Lances because, especially Light Lances, it's so easy to generate sea bills when you have Light Lances. Like, I'm at 1.2 million, and I, I, and I can pull off, like, I don't know, three or four missions per month per Lance. So, I can generate a, a crap ton of sea bills to keep these guys going. Um, and then just take the missions I want to be able to get the gear I want. So it kind of works out really nice. And then in the mech bay, um, just keep them separated by lines and the same thing here, right? I got a pack rat as a backup vehicle for the, for the main lance, but I don't have any clan backups here. And I don't think I've got any, um, what do we have here? Arctic cheetah. Yeah, I got a few. I was going to put the incubus together, but then I decided against it. Um, uh, there was a, it was a, um, the Sabre, uh, where is it here? Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one I want to assemble, but I can't do it. This is the specialized one. Two ER micro lasers, heavy machine guns, streak fours. Just because it's the named unit, it's the Sabre unit, I want to assemble this guy, so that's why I haven't done yet. The Urban Mac is just going to be assembled for parts. We've got an Ignis as a backup vehicle, which I probably won't put together. Uh, it's a little too slow. Got some mislinks and what's this guy? Fire Moth. Yeah, I got a few and a stinger. So we do have backup mechs here. I may decide to put together a third lance because we do have four light lances in play. We got three inner sphere light lances and one clan. But I only want to I only want to focus on the two because I got so many other um, playthroughs going. But uh, I do have the ability to kind of put together another light lance if I want to. Um, but like I said, I'm not going to do that. 
All right, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.